So I said electrolysis is essentially a dimensional analysis issue. And so when you look at this first problem, if you look at something like 60 amps, you should be able to write that right away, that that's going to be 60.0 coulombs over one second. That's a conversion factor relating coulombs and seconds. Uh, we have the 4,000 seconds. So the rule, if you were in my Chem 1 class, which I figured out hardly any of you were, the rule in dimensional analysis is you usually start your problems with the number that's not a conversion factor. So we'll be starting the calculation with that 4,000 seconds. So we can go from seconds to coulombs. But what we're looking for is mass of magnesium, grams of magnesium. So just thinking through our process, we need grams of magnesium. So that means somewhere along the line, we're going to need to find the moles of magnesium. And you know the conversion factor go between grams and moles, I assume, since you're in Chem 2. Okay? But to get to moles of magnesium somewhere, we're going to need to find the moles of electrons. And that means you're going to need the relationship between the electrons and the magnesium. And that's from this balanced half reaction over here. And so we're also going to need the fact that there are two moles of electrons for every one mole of magnesium. That's going to be another important conversion factor. So we're going to need moles of electrons, but what we have is coulombs. So is there a relationship we know between coulombs and moles of electrons? What is that conversion factor called? Faraday. The Faraday constant, uh, 96,485 coulombs per mole of electrons. So you notice how nicely I'm using units. Okay. Dimensional analysis problems are all about using units to help you solve the problem. I could have given you an equation to solve this. But really, dimensional analysis will get you there. And then you save memory capacity by not memorizing another equation. Okay? So we start the calculation with the 4,000 seconds. We want to cancel out seconds. So we use our current. Seconds are canceled. We want to cancel out coulombs. So we use the Faraday constant. Coulombs are gone. And then we want to cancel out moles of electrons. So we have one mole of magnesium over two moles of electrons. Moles of electrons are gone. And we want to get grams of magnesium. So that's what, 24.3? grams of magnesium per one mole of magnesium. Moles of magnesium are canceled, and you end up with an answer of 30.2 grams of magnesium. So when you're doing electrolysis, all you have to do is really think through what are your conversion factors that are given to you, and then you really need to use your units to help you solve the problem. If you're just thinking about numbers, you're going to be multiplying when you should be dividing or dividing when you should be dividing, uh, multiplying. And you're going to get lost. So write down your conversion factors like we did over here. Think through the steps that you're going to need, like I wrote in blue up there. And then start the problem with one of your numbers that's not a conversion factor, and then cancel units. And as I've said before, canceling is the only fun you get to have in chemistry. So you might as well cancel units whenever you get the chance. Okay. On the second problem, it's kind of backwards. Um, instead of giving you seconds, we're looking for how long in seconds it's going to take. And we're in a bit of a hurry, so we're not going to run it at 60 amps. We're going to run 
our electrolysis at 100 amps because we're in a hurry. Okay. But again, it's going to be the same kind of thing. You start with your 50 grams of magnesium, convert that to moles of magnesium. From moles of magnesium, don't forget to change that to moles of electrons, to coulombs, to seconds. And that'll be your order that you solve it there. And the answer for that one should have been 3.97 times 10 to the third seconds. So it'll still take about 4,000 seconds to deposit that much magnesium. But we're essentially depositing twice as much magnesium as we did in the previous problem, or at least a good amount more, 50 grams instead of 30. And yes? this goes hand in hand with like the voltaic cells, right? Like the... Um, these are technically electrolysis cells. Uh, because remember in voltaic cells, the voltaic cell was supplying the electricity because it was a spontaneous process. Okay. In these electrolysis cells, they're essentially non-spontaneous reactions that you're forcing to happen by using an external battery, an external power source okay. somehow. So electrolysis cells are theoretically the opposite of a voltaic or galvanic cell. But it's like the same like the building process, like one builds and another. Yes, yes, you could do it that way. Or the ions in solution are depleted as the magnesium is depositing onto whatever you want to be magnesium coated. Yes. So any other questions about electrolysis or electrochemistry before we say that we're done with electrochemistry?